Welcome to the Felmouth Hotel. It's the Helston Athletic Football Club's end of season presentation evening. You've not been on a stamp, have you? No, no, no. Never, never. <laughs> so how, how are we, you know, are we ready for tonight? Yeah, we are. If we're not now, then we're never going to be. I've been able to get him. <laughs> I was trying to run past. <laughs> To tonight? Yeah, absolutely buzzing. It's going to be yeah. brilliant. Yeah. You're on a nomination, I think, aren't you? For yeah. The manager's player under 18. The manager's player of the under 18. Mm -hmm. uh, any chance of winning it? No. I don't know. I we'll have to wait and see, really. Had a good season? Yeah, yeah, it's been awesome. Really enjoyed it um, from start to finish, really. It's been a great season as well. Been a great success for us, so really enjoyed it. And you're a goalkeeper, that's why you're a six foot whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm so tall, yeah. <laughs> Got the speech ready for tonight? Yeah, it's all going to be off the cuff this evening. Yeah. Let me have a few beers there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Paul Handy, Chairman of Helston, are you all ready for tonight? Yes, Dave, I think everything's prepared. There's been a lot of preparation gone through the work, and uh, as I say, it'll be all right on the night. Guys are um, all turned out really smartly again with things, and, um, and the ladies. It's a big night for them as well, so it's something we always want, wanted to do. And it's from a, I'm just handing out trophies in the social club and the lads with the shorts on and things. And it, it's now it, it's it's the lads and ladies, particularly the ladies' evening, and it's a celebration of the season. We've had a really good season. It's just a, it, it sends a message out to say this is this is what we're about. This is what we've done, and and more importantly, where we're going to go. Well, yeah, we won the cup. It was good, but yeah, it's been all right. I must be 40 years now to with Elston Football Club, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, might be successfully winning it. I don't know, but yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's backtrack. Can you, can you coach Barry Wyatt? No, no, you can manage him. But I wouldn't say he's coachable. He's, he's a unique entity of a goalkeeper. Uh, but he's brilliant to have in the sticks. And he's great to have in the changing rooms. How's the season been for you guys? Really good. We've had ups and downs, but that's normal, isn't it? Tell us about the ups. Any chance to win it? Well, I hope so, yeah. I've been nominated. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Well, exactly, yeah. That's it. I've come down to get a trophy, so. Right. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you were yeah. together. No, no. When we're just starting rumours. Yeah, player. <laughs> I would, though. I'm starting to think. No, which is it? George Roberts, nominated for what? Manager's Player of the Year? Uh, I think so, yeah. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. So you're not confident? Um, well, I haven't followed it too much, but uh, yeah.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to House Athletic Players Presentation and Award Evening 2009. An evening of celebration and recognition of the achievements of the 18 and 19 season. Please believe me when I say, further to the games made in 1718, the past season represents significant progress towards House and Athletic Football Club becoming Cornwall's best community football club. Your club has fielded an incredible 23 teams throughout the season. Please correct me, Dave Deacon, if you know of any Cornish club that has bettered this number. Through your amazing efforts, I'm delighted we have not just one, but five winners' trophies on display. Does this represent progress towards creating things? I'll leave that for you to decide. Young Milo, there's young been young Kieran and Louis. Um, and over the season, there have been some, some great performances. But I really believe that this goes to the guy that won us the league on the first time and then basically has been the best player in the second half of the season. So I'm going to give this to Milo. Well done, Milo. He's a cracking lad. He's a cracking lad. Um, he gives everything, everything on the pitch, but he's a major, major influence in the change rooms as well. Um, if he has a bad game, everybody has a bad game. Um, right, it's Twig. It's Lewis Hensley. Someone I'm going to wish luck to. He was my Junior Cup winning captain. I love him to bits. I played with him for 10 years before we took over management. I was at Apologies. Ladies football, team manager, team manager of the football club. Take note, first team, lots of silver on here. If you are to come and join our silver polishing course, we're holding for you maybe next season. You're more than welcome to join us. So tonight's winner, fantastic young centre half, Beth Prowse. And I'd just like to say a massive, massive thank you to each and every one of you for what has been the most unbelievable two years experience in my football career that I will never forget. Thank you very much. Thank you everybody. Have a great night. I thought this was going to be easy, but actually, as it's uh, getting closer and closer, it's not that easy for me, actually. Um, as everyone knows, I'm going to start with just saying, obviously, everyone knows I'm going on to Pasha's New. I'm going to better myself, hopefully, learn a few things in a, a manager's role. Uh, I've gone as far as I can at Helston, I feel, because obviously Massey, the first team manager, is doing such a good job at Helston. Um, I would love to, obviously, go to Port Flever, do my best, and maybe come back to Helston one day. I'm always a blue. I always will be. It goes through my veins. And I will be back, my son plays there, my six, well, four-year-old, hopefully when he's six, will play at Helston as well, just so everyone knows that. Good uh, he's a person that is, is, he plays with his heart on his sleeve, he, he, he understands when you ask him to play right back, left back, centre midfield, whatever, he's a, he's a manager's dream, but what he does do is keep learning, and he learns because he listens. Um, and he totally deserves it, and he's um, Kelsey Football Club are lucky to have him, and I think one day he will be Helsing captain. That's Isaac. So for me, massive thank you, mate, from all the teams, massive thank you, and from the club, massive thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for that. 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 Th
from us to you. All right? Thank you so much. I love all of you. You said that. You always want to be a blue. You get the black and yellow. I can see where Dan's true colours are wearing that yellow tie. Thanks, yeah. right. Oh, right, there you go, baby. Tan. Just a, just a little word from Tan. Tan. Managers or coaches, player. Um, me and Stu call them all our sons, really. But if we're completely honest, if he, if he was my son, I would have probably got him adopted. Um, long story, the amount of times he's been around my house and caused disruption. But on the field, he's just as disruptive. He's a fantastic player, he's got it all. He's our little Gaza, and it's Lewis Tonkin. <laughs> in this room this evening. And it's all reflective of where we're going and what the club is, is happening and when Stu and I first came in two seasons ago now, to where we are even particularly last year, when we set, we set this trophy table last year, and in fact it, it was so poor really, we actually bought in two inflatable trophies that we've been put on here. And it was like, um, it was like Del Boy and, uh, 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 and Rodney, and we said, this time next year we'll have real trophies. This time next year we'll have real trophies. The flagship, of course, is the first team. That's going to happen and that's getting closer. Believe me, I guess every manager, every club will say, that, yeah, it's going to be our season next season. But believe, believe me, it's getting that way. And we're very, very excited about what's going to be happening next season. And that goes on, not just onto the playing side about this 2020 vision, which is to say we'll have, a, we'll have a team that is capable of challenging for the title, but it's to be involved with the club as well. The club is the finest. <laughs> Community club in, in Cornwall. Facilities when we, when we first came in, we've upgraded into the first, first team dressing rooms. The corridor will be, will be finally finished in a, in a couple of weeks time, maybe two or three weeks time in there. But also then, which I want, wanted to be teams, I'd like to think here what we do here at Helston. We lead and others follow. You've seen on social media and things about other, other clubs inside, even, even to be fair. It'd be great, even in lower leagues than ourselves. I've upgraded their dressing rooms. We have under 18s teams that are now, I think we've got two or three more under 18s teams that are coming in. I guess one or two might go and follow us into the, into the National Youth Cup. Again, because we, we've led. We like that. We, we lead and others will follow. And the facilities will be the same. I want the best facilities in this county for you guys to go and enjoy and play in an environment that says you are somebody special. You are somebody, yeah, you're playing for the best team. This is a very, very special football club. <coughs> and we're going to be taking all the guys, you know the layouts of that change room there, there's going to be an extension that's going to go on. Again, on the side of the changing rooms where we are. And those two changing rooms which we've got there now will be turned over to the teams. Typically the first team, the teams that play that dressing room. We're going to create a lounge area, a gym. There's going to be a dedicated physio room in there. And finally, a manager's office. But it's just, it's just the on, ongoing, and the club evolves, and it's going to, going to move on and getting bigger and bigger, but bigger. And it's, I say, it, it's just like tonight. It's all relative. You guys, you guys in here, here just, it's, it's fantastic. This evening, the committee coming, coming in here tonight. I don't know that we've got a full table from in there. And everybody's buying into it. 
It's nice to see the guys really, really smartly dressed. I like that, I respect that, that's wonderful. The ladies look gorgeous, They're superb, and it was going to continue. We've got bigger numbers from last year. Um, just, just want to just sum up with that ourselves in here. There's maybe three, three, three sections in, in here that I just want to say why the club is growing and why, where it will continue to grow. The committee, great to see you in here. I know there's one or two still missing there. But be brave and be bold and be ambitious and follow us. When we say we want to go and be the best side in that, believe it and go with us. Managers, it's down to you guys to go and inspire and infuse and get your players and your, team, and your teams firing. The discipline that's been, it's been magnificent this, this season. It really, really has. We continue that. Players, whether you're the young guys, the senior guys, the game's changing, the game's changed. It's about how you look after yourself now, how you prepare, because that affects your performance. It's energy, it's pace, and there's a desire. And we see it coming through, there's a conveyor belt coming through. The likes of the guys that have brought in Stuart Giles, my daughter, from that, and they'll continue to feed the club with the energy. And it drives people on, it inspires people. We're all, all of us, committee managers, players, we're all am ambassadors for this football club. You go and you talk, and you talk outside the county, it's about health, it's about health and what we're doing. Everybody's not going to agree with it, everybody might just find one or two that fall by the wayside, but that's what that's what's happens. But we will continue to grow. Believe in it, believe in it, have the confidence, inspire one and one in each other around you. And we're all ambassadors and motivators for this for this special, special football club. It really, really is. Thank you for, for all what, you, what, what you've done this season. The success from the, from the sides in the, the seconds and thirds, the 18s. And it's just actually, I know the way from the flag. I take what you say, Stu, bro. It's the flag to the first team. We've got to be winning, winning silverware. We're looking to do that. I'd like to say, we, we had nothing on this table last year. We got, I know there's one missing from you, ladies. There should be six trophies here. Let's, let's add from the first team here again from next season. Get it from there. I also like just to say, you, you might not be aware of it. We, we were asked whether we could fit in a, a, a young man who maybe, um, who maybe, uh, who said, loved his football, was local. Could we get him involved? Could we bring him in? We said, yeah, well, yes, yes, we'll do that. He's really changed. He, he makes the lads a, 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 a smile and laugh. And he's, but I tell you what, tonight he's brought each and every one of the management side a gift out of his own money. He's written a magnificent card. You go, you go. Mm, it's a, um, I've seen some of the. I've seen some of these kit men that have been doing in, in Wembley. I've seen the sliders. Uh, Tommy, I don't want to give it any. Any ideas with that, Tom, for next season? But I'd just like to say a round of applause for, for, for Tommy. And do you know what? Because, you know, I talk about us being a special football I talk about us being a special football club. But it, it, it gives me a huge amount of pleasure to actually just think that then we touch this guy and help this guy. And it's his life now. It's his life. You know, we've been able to do that. Well, I just want to say, Tommy, thank you very much for being here. Leading leading goal scorer, top goal scorer, top goal scorer. Oh my God. Okay, Tommy, top goal scorer gives me. Great, great satisfaction. I come into this club, I spoke to all the boys to start with when I came in this club two years ago. And then, but who, who's, if there's one player you could say, who, who we got to keep, who we got to keep, everybody kept coming back to, it's got me, it's got me, it's got me, it's And he's just starting to fulfill that, that potential. We have better players around him now to actually grow, grow that. But he starts believing in himself and starts doing maybe 60 minutes instead of 30. Oh, yeah, he's scoring twice as many goals. So a fabulous talent. Fabulous talent. The leading goal scorer this year, Phil Catherine. <laughs>